Hey guys, Steven here. I wanted to make a quick video on five ways that you can increase the power in your Muay Thai kick. Now, before I get started on any of the ways, I wanna mention the important fact that genetics do play in how hard you are gonna be able to kick. So someone who's born athletic, quick, fast, faster twitch muscles, they're naturally gonna be able to hit harder, kick faster than someone who is not as genetically gifted. So when you think of genetics, think of it as you're born with a specific model car. You can optimize the speed of that car, but you're gonna still have a maximum speed that is different than other people who are born with different body types. So just keep that in mind. If you're not someone who's naturally athletic and you're looking at some guys who are extreme athletes who can kick like really hard, you know, it's not always your fault. Some people are better tall, really tall, don't kick hard, but they got good elbows, good knees. So whatever your genetics, don't let that affect any, any aspect of your Muay Thai game. So the first thing I wanna mention when it comes to kicking hard is your technique. You know, before anything else, you need to have good Muay Thai technique when it comes to kicking. And if you don't know how to kick properly, I have a couple videos on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. It's, it breaks down the, the technique from A to B to C all the way to the full kick. So if you don't know how to kick properly, look up the technique because that's the most important aspect. If you're just a beginner, you need to focus only on technique. Don't worry about anything else in this video because you, once you improve your technique, you're gonna be able to kick harder. Now the second thing I wanna mention is focusing on staying relaxed. A lot of people when they're kicking, they don't, what happens is they try and force it really hard. It, it's almost counterintuitive, but the harder you try and force your kick, sometimes it slows you down. It's, you wanna be in a relaxed state and your body should be as relaxed as possible. It's almost like when you're throwing a punch. You don't wanna tense your arm all the way. You wanna tense it at the very end. The same with your kick. You want your entire kick to be relaxed and then whip it out. And at the very end, that's when you throw that that power. That's when you hear guys, <gasps> they make that sound where they, they ex exert that last breath of air right when they're about to hit. So you need to focus on staying as relaxed as possible when you kick. It's counterintuitive, you're gonna wanna tense everything and kick as hard as you can. Stay relaxed, tense up right at the very end of that kick, you're gonna be able to kick harder. And the third way that you're gonna increase the power of your Muay Thai kick is your arm swing. So a lot of, some one of the common mistakes that beginners often make when they're kicking is, is they're gonna be really tense, so they're gonna go on the bag and, and their arm is not gonna get any swing. So you, Now this is a technique problem, but a lot of people don't realize the harder you swing your arm, you're gonna actually drive your hips more into your kick. So think of it like this. Your arm is connected to that hip. So the harder you swing that arm, your leg is gonna turn over and you're gonna drive more power. So think of this, this method as adding more power to your kick. This motion. So you can practice that. You don't need to kick, but you can work on that arm swing, swinging your arm, the off-kicking arm. So if you're uh, orthodox, you're gonna swing this arm this way, southpaw, this way. So the fourth point that you're gonna need when you kick harder is you need to practice kicking harder. Now if you go in the heavy bag or if you go in the, the Muay Thai bag and you're casually kicking, you know, that's not working on your power. You need to specifically work on kicking harder. So when you go to the bag, focus on kicking less times but more powerful. So, Focus on practice kicking harder when you're training. Emphasize as hard as you can, and you're gonna actually be able to build more power in your kicks. Final point in being able to kick hard is you need to be as fit as you possibly can be. Now, fitness requires you to do running. It requires you to be in shape. It requires you to be in Muay Thai shape. I can tell you from personal experience, when I get out of shape, I do not kick as hard. When I'm running 10 kilometers a day, when I'm training hard, my kick power increases probably 20 to 30% from being out of shape to in shape.
So if you want to be able to kick harder, you have to be in peak shape. Now, you're not always going to be in peak shape, so you might not always be able to kick your hardest, but that's one of the best ways to increase the power in your kicks is to be as fit as you can be. And that requires long distance running, that requires you know, short sprints, bursts, speed kicks on the bag. You have to mix in your short endurance and your fast twitch muscles. Combine that together and be as fit as you can and that's gonna help you kick harder. So those five tips, those are all gonna add up to help you kick harder. But remember at the end of the day, you need to compare yourself to yourself. Don't compare yourself to other people because everybody has a different engine. Everyone's built differently. So you might not be able to kick as hard as that person over there, but as long as you are kicking harder than you were before, that is all that matters. So focus on improving and competing against yourself and you will have a harder kick.